Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video I'll be showing you how to make this soap bubble material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, let's crack on with this material. I've already loaded up an object and applied a basic principled BSDF to it. I'm actually going to delete that though. And then I'm going to press Shift A. And in the search box, type transparent. Bring on a transparent BSDF. Then I'm going to search for a layer weight node. And then a glass BSDF. To connect all these together, we'll need a mix shader. So I'll press Shift A to search for one of those. Chuck that in. Then from the layer weight, I'm going to choose facing and connect that to the factor of the mix shader. The transparent shader goes in the first slot and the glass in the second, and then the mix shader gets connected to the surface. I'm going to press Shift D to duplicate the layer weight, and again to duplicate the mix shader, and I'm going to pop that in in between the current mix shader and the material output. And then the extra layer weight, I'm going to connect the Fresnel to the factor of the second mix shader. Then going to drop that layer weight down to 0 0.001 and the first blend, sorry, the first layer weight to 0.2. Now I'm going to search for a color ramp and this is what's going to apply the color to our soap bubble. I'm going to connect that to the transparent. Initially, because that's going to give us more intense color. Later on, I'm going to move that into the glass. I'm going to change this to HSL and clockwise. And what this is going to do is give us a rainbow between two colors. So we don't have to go selecting and adding multiple colors. We can just select the first and last color and then uh, Blender will work out the rest. So the first color, I'm doing saturation of 0.33. And the second color, doing a saturation the same, 0.33, but I'm changing the hue. So right round to almost to the other end of that spectrum, 0.95. So now you can see Blender has automatically calculated the entire rainbow that blends from one to the other. I'm now adding a noise texture. And the factor from that is going to go in the factor of the color ramp. And as you can see, that's already affecting it. I'm going to change the scale to 1, detail to 5, roughness to 0 0.005, and distortion to 1. Then pressing Control T to get the object mapping into the vector. Then I'm going to search for a hue saturation node and pop that in just after the color ramp. And then I'm changing the saturation to 1.25, leaving everything else as it was. And then now the little bit of magic, you can see how the color intensity is changed when I plug that color into the glass instead of the transparency. So it now looks much more like a soap bubble. Now we send it off to render and I'm using 1024 samples. You could decrease or increase this. Increasing will be better for transparent or glass shaders. 
um, and you might want to increase the light passes but other than that it's just straight out of the box rendering here with the cycles render engine and there we have it a soap bubble material ready to go don't forget to like and subscribe Bye.